We have the Knight of Wands energy here. Let me get something with this Knight of Wands. Somebody taking action. Somebody not waiting. Look at this Eight of Wands. Somebody is not waiting. They're about to go. They're focused, okay? Or somebody could be traveling. Someone's planning on doing something. No, this ain't planning. This is someone that is taking action now. Like, their energy is focused. This is like shots fired or something like that. Or when they shoot the gun at the, uh, the race and it's time to go, yes, it's giving all that. We have the Ace of Pentacles here, trying to get to some type of opportunity, some type of money, some type of resource, perhaps. They're trying to get to something fast. Or they're getting there fast. Let me get something here. Or they're headed to it. They headed towards some type of opportunity. We got the, the Two of Cups here. Hmm. It's almost like giving, moving somewhere for an opportunity or going, like at least going after it or going quickly or focusing on it. Like, okay, this is what I want. This is where I'm going. This is where I'm headed. But it's like a now energy. And it is some type of connection. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups could be some type of contract. It's some type of commitment here where it's the beginning. It's a seed being planted. We have the King of Swords energy here. Could be an air sign I'm talking about. Somebody that definitely knows their shit, though. So we have a fire sign coming towards an air sign, perhaps. Doesn't have to be. It is somebody that's just ready to go. We have the chariot. Yep, this is about moving forward. Direction. Being aligned. And being balanced, also. Hmm. Let me get something with this chariot. We have the nine of wands energy here. Yeah, this is a very, very strong energy. It looks like somebody added... Like, okay, the partnership coming together made something stronger. Like, whatever it is that's being planted, it's more likely to, like, grow. Let me get something here with this Knight of Wands. Also, the only major arcana here is the Chariot. It definitely is something about the future and not being stopped, not being blocked, not being deterred. Really using your power, your willpower to make something happen. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. So it's something that they've been trying to do for a long time. Whoever this Knight of Wands is. Something they've been trying to do. Something they've invested a lot of time. So it could even be something. I don't know if you're practicing or you're doing something here. You're doing something where you're getting better at something. And it will be time for an opportunity. Or there will be something where it be like, it's like, oh my goodness, an opportunity opens up. Or oh my goodness, that's a position. I can go for that. Or oh my, it's, look, we got the full card here. Taking a leap of faith. No, somebody's going somewhere. They're going to a different place. I don't know if it's a city, county, country. You're going somewhere else to get this opportunity because it's literally for you. It's something here that you've been working towards. You've been practicing towards. You've been investing time, investing energy. Okay? And you're looking for some type of results. And your results are when you go after this opportunity right here. Okay, and it's going, I don't know if it's an air sign, but it's somebody that knows their shit. They're not, they're not playing games. Okay, they're very intelligent. Let me get something here. We have the five of cups energy. Why the five of cups? What's the five of cups? Why the bittersweetness? What they got to leave behind? They got to leave something behind to go after this opportunity. But I don't know. That may be the biggest issue right there. We have the hangman energy. With the Two of Cups, though? No, you're going to have to leave. That's all I know. You're going to have to leave whatever... Because in the Five of Cups, Three of Cups are knocked down and Two Cups are up. You're going to have to leave something or someone or... Look, and we got Temperance, okay, Sagittarius. We got Pisces here, Aquarius. But it's something about, like, a new relationship changing you. Or enlightening you. Like, I don't think this is an energy where someone's going to wait for you or some shit like that. Like, you got to go. We have the Six of Pentacles energy here. Yep. And it's with that King of Sword. Getting what you deserve. We have the Moon card here on top of the Cancer. I mean, on top of the Chariot card here. Yeah. The only way you'll know is to go. I really feel like somebody's being pulled this direction. It seems very scary, though, like, making these kind of moves. But, like, you got to listen to that inner voice. You got to listen. It's somebody here that's very passionate about this, too. Whatever this is that they do, they're extremely guided. Like, there is no doubt. When somebody is something, like, I don't care if it's a dancer, 
it's a doctor, it's a damn nurse, it's a whatever. It's an energy where like, Others would be able to see that this is your passion or others. It's something that's it's unmistakable. And that's why you're so passionate about going after it because you know it was made for you. But it really feels like this relationship is going to, <laughs> it's going to turn your world upside down in a good way. Let me get something here. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like it's going to open the door to more opportunities, more, if this is about jobs, it's going to open the door to some type of business or some type, like you're planting seeds. That's what I'm seeing. You're planting seeds. And I feel like, oh my goodness, what is this at the bottom? We have the King of Cups energy here, a water sign. Okay. Someone here very much open hearted, very much knows how they feel very much aligned with their emotions we got the hangman again again pisces energy here it's like you know where you gotta go you see it and it's like the, i feel like the only way somebody comes out of hangman energy is to go after whatever this is because that's what is being presented to you but you gotta go get it it is a leap of faith it really really is because there's no guarantees but as far as spirit is concerned, this shit is made for you. It's made for you. When it's just made for you, it's just made for you, period. That's what I'm talking to. I just seen the Ten of Pentacles. Look, when it's made for you, it's just made for you. And that's just what it got to be. But you do have to go after it. Look, Eight of Wands again. As I'm saying, you got to go after it. This going to take you out of the hangman energy. You're going to see things very differently once you take this leap of faith, the way that this eight of wands, these two eight of wands are here surrounded like above and below the full card. I don't know if somebody got to get on a plane, you got to get on a train, you got to drive somewhere far. I don't know what it is, but it's something where you're going to jump on that opportunity because you're going to know. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you're going to know that that's your chance. That's your opportunity. And you're going to have to leave somebody or leave something behind. Like, it's, it is bittersweet, but hey, you got the hangman out here twice. You're going to have a new perspective on some shit, on life. We have the four pinnacles, yes. Okay? Financial stability here. Being able to hold on to something. Like, being okay financially. Like, not wanting for anything. Let me get something here. It might be an old job you're leaving. We have the six of wands energy here. You're definitely going to succeed with whoever this is or whoever you're teaming up with. Or I, like I said, I don't know if it's a contract. It's something here like that. But it's going, it's an opportunity that's going to open up. Wow, we have the five of pentacles. Okay, we got to get something with this five of pentacles. Because what in the world is this? That's somebody's money that needs to be repaired. But I see this six of pentacles here. It feels like it's the beginning of something. Like it's not going to be the only... Like, somebody could be a traveler or something like that. Maybe your job will be to travel and do whatever you got to do, get paid, and go back where you go. Because it's two eight of wands here. It might be, you know, round trip type shit. It really might be. But it's not going to be the only... Look, let me get something here with this moon card. We have the four of cups energy here. Yeah, it's the energy of not wanting to miss out on this blessing. This is right here with the moon card. And with the moon card, there could be like fears associated with certain things or just like being scared of like where things are going. But you can't be scared of that. You can't be scared. Oh, Lord, we got the eight of swords energy here. This is past fears or some shit like that, man. It's like blind spots and it's just so much more that somebody has to learn. That's what's important. It's it's something about experience. You can't get experience from doing something one time. It's definitely something about experience. These last three cards are like yucky we have five of pentacles the four of cups and the eight of sword these energies don't look good like this is someone that needs to give in to something surrender or you not gonna be looking so good like at the end of this we have the three of wands for somebody it is time to go yeah i'm worried about them last three cards over here everything look good with these four cards but nah not that five of pentacles four of cups and eight of sword let me get something here with this hangman energy Wow, we have the Ten of Sword. 
you are letting something go completely. It's some type of mindset. Okay, I'm glad to see the Ten of Swords over there with the Hangman. We have the Knight of Cups. Maybe you're letting go of a relationship or something and opening your heart to something new. It's something here that was in your heart. And maybe your heart is leading you somewhere else. Like maybe once upon a time where you are is all good, but maybe you're about to travel and go somewhere else and experience something different. We have the Knight of Swords energy here and it's facing the Knight of Cups. A water sign, an air sign here. I don't know, it's looking like a breakup or something like that to be honest. We have Temperance energy. I think this is the second time I've seen Temperance. Temperance with that Six of Wands. Okay, let me get something here with this. So we know that's the path. What is this here? And we have the Queen of Pentacles here. It's here with the Five of Pentacles. Okay, I gotta get something with that, that's right. It's like improving your money. We got the Strength card here, Leo Energy. And then we have the Page of Cups. This is a weird energy. It's like, I feel like somebody doesn't want you to go. But like, their energy was not really coming out in this reading. Like somebody else, the only people I was seeing was you and your new boo or your new relationship, your new contract, your new opportunity. That's what I was seeing. I wasn't seeing necessarily the past or the old. Other than with that five of cups that I know somebody has to leave somebody behind or leave something behind that maybe you wanted. Maybe something is heartbreaking, but this is like, wow. This is really canceling something for real. Like shutting it down. Ten swords in the back. Like, really looking at somebody differently. Like, it might be a lot of, how can I say this? Like, energies where you're just up in the air or, how can I say this? It's almost like finding out somebody was cheating on you at the same time you get a new job opportunity. Does that make sense? And that's what I mean when I say it feels like somebody, like, literally floating because you're looking, you're finding something out over here, but you're also finding something out right here. Like... <laughs> That is a bit crazy. That is a bit crazy. What is this at the bottom? We have the two of pentacles energy here. It's something about balancing the scales. Like something will remain balanced or you will find balance again. Like something's going to grow with a new relationship. The ace of pentacles is there with the two of cups. And now we got the two of pentacles here. So we got one pentacle right here. This is where the seed is planted. But this is when the seed starts growing. So I know this has to do with this two of cups. But whatever this five of cups is... This is being left. I don't know what kind of stability. Maybe this gave you some type of stability or something like that. That's being left behind. That's being canceled. Or somebody got fired or something like that. But it's something that happens at the right time. And it might require somebody to move and leave perhaps everything behind. That's another thing. Somebody might have to leave a lot. Hmm. Let me get something here with this Ten of Swords here. We have Judgment. Damn. This... There's a bigger reason as to why something is going to move fast or someone is going to be moving. It's going to be a lot of energy happening or coming at somebody. That's what I'm seeing here. Like this is answering your call. Like it's going to be chaotic for somebody. It's like, I hate to say that, but it really feels like that at this moment is going to be chaotic when it's time to answer your calling because you're going to be learning or figuring out or finding out about so much it's not going to be no question why you got to leave or why you got to go. It's not going to be a question. We have the two of swords energy here. See, nah, let me get something here. Like, if somebody from the past, I don't think they're going to be with you or you're going to be able to hold on to some type of relationship. I don't think so. Yeah, lovers. I don't think so. Not with the two of sword here. Like, I feel like somebody's options are going to open. Like, I really feel like that. I'm not trying to say you're leaving for a relationship, but you may find something that you're not looking for. You may find something that you're not looking for. I feel like this is some crazy shit. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. It's a new relationship, man. Or a new contract. And it only comes after the Judgment card. And Judgment is not an easy energy, especially when you're not ready for the truth. When you're not ready for the truth, judgment can really break you down. And sometimes it really lifts you up. 
And that's why I feel like this is going to happen around the same time because you're going to have to balance or you're going to maintain balance. We have the full card again. Yep. This is what it is. The lovers, the ten of pentacles and the full card. Like taking a leap of faith with this. I don't know. This is a lot of money, a lot of resources. And it's going to take someone out of... I don't even want to say, like, it's not poverty or nothing, but maybe just a hard time. Maybe a depleted time. A depleted energy, a, de a depleted life. We have the Hierophant energy here. Okay? Something about a title, or maybe you're going to be titled. Maybe you're going to be part of some type of institution, organization here. The head of something. A key player of something. Yeah, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands here with this Page of Cups energy. Something about a vision. Maybe you envisioned this. Maybe you saw this. Maybe you didn't see it happening like this. What's this at the bottom? Yeah, we got the Knight of Wands, and that was the first card out. Like, someone's going after... They're going after an opportunity because their past or whatever is present, that shit is, like, falling apart. Like, in so many different ways. It could be that somebody even gets bad news before it's time to go. Like, I hate to say that. That's crazy as hell. Also, with this water sign, King of Cups energy here. Like, someone's heart... I mean, someone's energy is going to be, like, open. This doesn't look like a smooth transition. It doesn't look smooth. It looks like there's a lot of illumination that's going to have to happen. And it's going to hit somebody all at the same time. And it's going to represent something in their life. Wow, this is crazy. Like, sometimes life is... Can be, you know, a little bit brutal... I shouldn't say it like that, but I'm getting that kind of energy where it's like you gain all of this, but then you have to lose something too. I don't like saying that, but that's really the energy that I'm getting here. The hangman came out twice. Like you're going to see things way different by the time this shift is over. So much is going to be illuminated here. Let me get something with this. It says roadblock. So whatever that was, that's about to be canceled over here. The roadblock. Yeah, you about to be able to answer your calling. It says emerald. Healing. Yeah, after you get out of this roadblock or when this shit is moved out the way, it says temporary setback. Challenges. The emerald says uh, soul restoration. A uh, heart chakra. Free flowing love. Mature love. Strong relationship. This is where I feel like somebody's going. Is somebody blocking you from your real, like, opportunity or really growing something, but they're not going to be blocking you for long, but it's just, like, a lot is going to happen before, man, I'm somebody going to be a different person. They're going to shift, for real. Corset here, it says, held together, boundaries, restriction, following rules, uh, holding it together, people pleaser. Like, I'm telling you, and that's, that's what I'm kind of getting, like, where someone is going to have to hold it together. Because it's going to be a lot. This, this right here might not be for everybody. But this is a lot for somebody to handle is what I'm getting. And it's like you can't even take a moment. I feel like somebody got to make a move. It's going to be like you're going to find out some shit or you're going to see some shit. And then an opportunity presents itself. And you're not going to be able to weep and shit like that. You're going to be you gonna be like, let me get on that opportunity. And then that shit fucking changes your life or something. And it's just like, wow. I'm getting that kind of energy almost like somebody do somebody don't even have time to cry. Because when you when your stomach drops, there's something that's going to pick it back up. It's not going to be able to change the past, but your future is different. I don't know. This is crazy right here, y'all. This one is crazy. This says shield. It says defensive, protect, support, block, guardian, stand up for, being prepared. Okay, ward off unwanted energies, be on guard. Like this looks like someone fighting in the spiritual because this is that same night. This is that same night, but it says shield. It feels like someone fighting. Like, you don't have a shield for nothing. You have a shield to protect yourself because I feel like it's a lot of shit that's going to come at somebody. And you got to stay on top of it because it's really going to... I feel It feels much like a test. This is a lot. This is really going through the fire right here. If just feeling what the feeling is of the cards, someone's going through the fire. That's what it feels like to me. In order to get to the other side. And me sitting here saying, oh, it's going to be smooth. No, it's not. We have courage and bravery here. Like, this shit is not going to be easy. Courage and bravery means you got to get through some shit, man. 
Like, this is for somebody. I just need somebody to really just be prepared. I don't know who this is. It might even be happening right now. It says, listen deeply. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.